a big weather pattern change will be coming to the United States as we go throughout the week, and this is going to bring a few more shots of cold air in addition to the potential for some snowfall from areas like the Midwest back into the Ohio Valley and as well as the Northeast. In addition to that, we'll also be seeing warmer than normal weather start to build in across the Great Plains and as well as through the West Coast of the United States, which will eventually lead to a more active weather pattern as we get closer to the middle of December. So in today's forecast, we're going to break down exactly what you need to know about the weather that will be impacting the United States over the next 7 to 10 days. And we'll begin with what's happening across the country this morning, which again, for the time being, things are relatively quiet for most of the lower 48. We don't have any sort of large storms right now that are happening anywhere across the country, at least for today. The only thing that's really happening is two different things. We have one of which being a little disturbance that is coming out of Iowa and Minnesota. And this is actually going to bring some light to moderate snowfall today from areas from Iowa all the way back through areas like Tennessee, Kentucky, and even back into North and South Carolina as we go into tonight and as well as tomorrow. In addition to that, we also have lake effect snow that does continue across areas like Michigan, New York, Ohio, and as well as back through Pennsylvania. And this will continue for the next few days, bringing the potential for maybe an additional foot or two of snow in some areas. Now, the weather will be changing a lot over the next week or so, and a lot of it is going to have to do with the temperatures across the country. And you'll notice this week, we continue to observe a very cold weather pattern across the eastern tier of the United States with very below average temperatures and even in some cases record breaking low temperatures. As we go into the middle and end of the week though we are going to get at least one maybe two more shots for cold air across areas like the Midwest, Ohio Valley and as well as back through the east coast of the United States bringing even colder weather and another chance for record breaking low temperatures in some areas by the middle and end of the week but eventually as we go into this upcoming weekend things will start to change a bit. I think warmer than average weather will return to most of the United States and then eventually as we go into the following week we actually could get some sort of winter storm forming back over in the Great Lakes and the Midwest and this could bring an additional cool down to areas like the Midwest and as well as the Ohio Valley next week but obviously that's still over seven days out so there definitely could be some changes to that we will talk more about the potential for a winter storm next week in just a moment and to put this into more perspective about what's happening near the surface in terms of our temperatures this is the temperature anomalies and this will give us an idea of where we're seeing below average temperatures and as well as above average temperatures here for throughout the next several days and beginning with today you'll notice the coldest weather does continue across areas like Iowa and Missouri back through areas in the Carolinas unfortunately record-breaking low temperatures are likely tonight across many areas in the Ohio Valley and Dixie Alley and for the record a lot of people that were hit by Hurricane Helene still are in this area and some of the which do not actually have a place that is warm to stay so this is definitely not a good thing uh, for those that are in that area where we could see below freezing temperatures tonight. Eventually, as we go into Tuesday into Wednesday, the cold air will start to move out a little bit, still below average temperatures for the entire East Coast. But eventually, by the time we go into Thursday, another storm will form back over near the Great Lakes. This will bring snowfall, by the way, to areas like the upper Midwest and as well as the Northeast. We'll talk more about this here in a moment. But this is also going to bring, in addition to snow, another shot for cold air. And this will also bring the potential for some record-breaking low temperatures on Thursday to areas like the Midwest and the Ohio Valley. And eventually, by Friday, Friday, this moves through the Northeast. Notice, though, this is not nearly as large scale as the cold cool down that we're currently dealing with for most of the country. So it's going to be a quicker shot of cold air. And eventually, by the weekend, it starts to clear out before we eventually see warmer than average weather return to most of the United States by the middle and end of the weekend. And then after that, things do become a bit more uncertain. So in terms of the temperatures here across the country, well, let's begin with what's happening tomorrow morning. This will be one of the coldest mornings of the entire week for most of the country. We're below freezing temperatures will be as far south as Texas in the middle of Georgia and Alabama. In addition to that, by Wednesday morning, the below freezing temperature line could actually be down into northern Florida. So back over near Tallahassee and Jacksonville, be mindful. Sensitive vegetation could be at risk as we go into Wednesday morning. Eventually, as we go into Thursday and Friday, that next shot of cold air will come in in many areas like Minnesota will be sub-zero as we go into Thursday morning and as well as even into Friday morning. Areas like Illinois, Wisconsin could be into the teens and perhaps even some single digits so make sure your jackets are ready to go we could see another freeze go as far south as florida as well sometime on friday or as well as saturday now before we talk more about what's going to be happening long term in terms of snowfall i do want to touch on some of the snow events that'll be happening over the next 48 hours so we'll begin with the lake effect snow event that does continue across the great lakes where it's overall beginning to wind down quite a bit but we'll continue to see some lake effect snow today coming out of the northwest with some of the moisture so some light to moderate even at sometimes heavy snow snowfall 
will continue in Ohio, Northwest Pennsylvania, and as well as Western New York tonight. It is going to be winding down over in Watertown. So Watertown's pretty much done with lake effect snow for the next, I would say, 48 hours or so before we see more snowfall, probably on Wednesday or Thursday. Continue to watch for some lake effect snow, though, especially in Northeast Ohio and Northwest Pennsylvania. It is going to continue, I think, all the way through Wednesday. So additional snowfall accumulation over the next 48 hours. Well, the worst of it will be back over in Southwest New York and also Northwest Pennsylvania, where there will be some spots picking up another one to two feet of snow elsewhere. Not nearly as significant, but we could see an additional one to anywhere upwards of even six inches of snowfall in some spots. So not nearly as significant again as before. As we go throughout today, we are going to see some light to moderate snow showers across Iowa, Illinois, and as well as Missouri. This is a quick moving system. It's going to be very light snowfall. And by this afternoon, it will be into Tennessee and Kentucky. Wouldn't rule out a dusting on some elevated surfaces, maybe even an isolated half an inch of snow in a couple spots. But again, this is nothing to write home about. It's going to be really just the first snowfall of the season for some of these areas. We actually could see this reach areas like northern Alabama and northern Georgia tonight. So keep a close eye out on the sky just after sunset. And eventually this will move into North Carolina and South Carolina. Also watch for heavy lake effect snow back over in northern Indiana and as well as southwestern Michigan overnight tonight and eventually into early tomorrow morning. But it should be a pretty quick clip when it comes to snowfall accumulation. In terms of total snowfall accumulation here over the next 48 hours, again, notice not really expecting any more than just a dusting on elevated surfaces, maybe a half an inch in a couple of spots. Over in the higher elevations, there will be a little bit more accumulation there along the Tennessee and North Carolina border. And then in southwest Michigan, northern Indiana, there will be some spots that pick up upwards of three to six inches of snow tonight into tomorrow morning. Could even see a few spots waking up to up to a foot of snow back over in southwestern Michigan. Now let's talk more about the long-term future radar going beyond what we're going to be seeing today and tomorrow. And as we go into Wednesday, we are going to see a clipper system here on the edge of Canada. This is going to be a bit more impactful than the clipper systems that we've been dealing with back over in areas like the Ohio Valley and as well as back through the lower Midwest over the last 24 to 48 hours. However, it's going to be a bit further to the north, and this is going to be mostly a threat to Canada with some light to moderate snowfall. And at times, we could see some heavy snowfall back over in Michigan as we go into Wednesday, but it should be mostly on the northern side of the state. And eventually, as we go into Wednesday night into Thursday morning, some moderate to heavy snowfall will be possible back over into the northeast, areas like Pennsylvania and as well as New York. Eventually, as we go into Thursday and eventually into Friday, this will move through the northeast. Again, it's going to be pretty sporadic snowfall. It'll be on and off. I don't expect significant accumulation up there, but I do think a few inches of snow will definitely be in the forecast there. Eventually, as we go into Friday into Saturday, things do clear out for the most part, but we are going to be watching for some moisture to build here over in the southeast United States. And we actually could see the return here of severe weather as we go into Saturday into Sunday somewhere here in the Dixie Alley. For right now, it does not look significant. It does not look like a tornado outbreak by any means, but it is something just to watch for as we go into the weekend. And eventually, as we go into next week, which is, again, over six days out from now, so things could change here, the uh, GFS model does continue to hint at a large winter weather event trying to take place here back over in the Midwest in the Ohio Valley. But again, it is still over six to seven days out, so things could definitely change here. But I do think closer to the middle of December, we are going to see some sort of large storm here. Again, what exactly comes out of it is very uncertain, but we'll definitely keep you posted with the latest. So make sure that you are subscribed to the channel because the weather, I think, will get much more active as we get closer to the middle and end of December. Now, in terms of total snowfall accumulation between now all the way through Friday, the majority of it will be, again, across areas like the Great Lakes in the Northeast, areas like Wisconsin, Illinois, not going to see much it looks like over the next five days. Eventually, as we go into next week, though, things could definitely start to ramp up again. But at least for right now, snowfall accumulation will definitely be on the lower side of things for most of the Midwest and as well as the Great Plains. And today is the last day to get a discount on ShopMaxVelocity.net with our Cyber Monday sale using code Cyber Monday at checkout. You can get discounts on things like our Happy Holidays merch and as well as our Flying Trampoline collection, Drunk NATO collection, and as well as our Max Velocity collection, all available at ShopMaxVelocity.net. It is the top link in the description below. And as a reminder, if you want anything before Christmas for like a Christmas gift or our stocking stuffer, you need to order by December 10th. So again, you got about a week or so, but definitely something to keep in mind. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to hit the like button down below and subscribe if you've not already.